Hello everybody this is Dr Syed here uh, today I'm going to talk about talking to you about use of inhalers rather appropriate use of inhalers previous uh, previously I spoke about asthma uh, a few of the misbeliefs misconceptions about asthma use of steroids in asthma use of inhalers in asthma today uh, I'm going to give you a live demo as to how to use inhalers appropriately correctly right so let's understand what is inhaler this is called as an inhaler of course i've used one particular drug uh, called as duolin uh, this colored one and this has got parts this is uh, called as mouthpiece and this is canister which has got medication medicines inside the the uh, spraying medications inside so let's say this is a brand new one you open the cap of the for the mouthpiece let the first spray go outside expel it because it's brand new now first step before using the inhaler is empty your lungs so breathe out Hold your breath, count till 10 seconds. This can be very well done by older kids, maybe five years, six years above. They can, um, they can, we can teach them how to hold the breath, so that all the medicine which is being puffed and pumped goes to the lungs and stays there for a few seconds uh, for it to work. Yeah, so this can be easily done by by a couple of uh, 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 tech, uh, you know trainings. They can easily do it for kids who are younger, younger than four years. Uh, or three years uh, kids they still also can uh, can be taught how to use inhalers uh, for them probably breath holding may not be as easy as the as the older ones for them there's another technique so same steps so if it's a brand new spray the uh, first spray outside ask them to breathe out ask them to keep taking deep breaths so this what does it do is when the medicine is uh, sprayed in the in the oral cavity though as they take breaths from the mouth and ex exhale from the nose so medicine goes there and keeps de getting deposited in the lungs so that way it will make the airway open up and they can breathe better so this is for the younger kids of course inhaler usage uh, practically um, comes into picture above three years three to four years kids because younger kids cannot use inhaler, inhaler hence the use of nebulization is most uh, most common in younger kids and so we, we just put a mask and we connect to the, uh, to the power power source and the medicine is uh, basically in a vaporized form given to the lungs yeah so inhalers are quite safe quite effective if used appropriately right because a lot of kids a lot of parents come to us after despite a one week treatment or five days of treatment the child hasn't shown any improvement uh, wheezing is still there heavy breathing is still there sounds are still coming uh, so then we ask them especially a five year old six year old kid we ask the parents to show me uh, how have you been uh, giving the inhalers how have you been administering so techniques invariably are wrong either they are they are not emptying the lungs or they are they're spraying which is only in the mouth they are not taking the breath inside the medicine has to go to the lungs and gets deposited hence it opens the airway yeah so this is uh, this is a simple video to to understand how to use the inhalers properly appropriately any queries any concerns you can always uh, feel free to ask uh, ask me and um, please meet your uh, pediatrician or your physician or a doctor um, if you need any guidance as to what medication how long to use uh, how many weeks to use how many months to use all the depends on the medication depends on the problem depends on the child's age yeah thank you so much